Hello, hello, hello. It is Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work with Maggie and Lauren to bring you beautiful crochet tutorials. We are continuing our Granny Square series. I got a pretty one for you today. This is the Starburst. And believe it or not, it's a simple pattern. Uh, this is very beginner friendly. And the only thing I suggest you wait to the end to weave in all your ends because the first one I did, I tried to weave as I went. And if you're not careful, it can show through some of these stitches. So that is just a recommendation. There's definitely a wrong side and a right side, but it's beautiful. I am working with a six millimeter crochet hook tonight. My clover hooks, again, highly recommend if you can do it. So let's get this beauty working. Now you can start the center two ways. You can do magic ring or you can do a chain five and slip stitch to the first stitch. Totally up to you. You know me, I like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan of the magic ring. But again, personal preference, just do a chain five, slip stitch to the first stitch, and then you chain up four. If you did the magic circle, you already chain one. So all you need to do is chain three more. One, two, and three. And we're done, I've just put in 15 double crochets in the center. And this should be my 15th. I am going to strongly recommend that you count. Counting your chain, you should have 16 stitches because if your count's wrong, it's going to mess you up. So count. just take a moment and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay. I'm going to pull my center tight. And then I am going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three. Right there. And then actually I usually slip stitch in the next stitch. Then I chain one. But you do what makes you happy. Okay. All right. And if anybody wants to know what yarn I'm using, I am continuing my stash busting. So I am hitting it actually pretty hard lately. All right. Let's see if I can find my beginning. All right, start with a slip knot. We're going to do some puff stitching. Okay. You can start at any stitch that you want. Bring it through, chain one. All right, chain two. And let's do the first puff. The first puff's always a little different because it's starting. So you wrap the hook, go in, grab some yarn, pull up. Wrap the hook, go through, pull up. You will have five loops on your hook. Wrap, go through all of them, and chain one. Now let's do the next one. Next stitch. 
and go through again and go through again. You should have seven loops wrap. Go through all seven. Chain one. That is all you do on this round. Wrap the hook, go in, come on up. Wrap the hook, go on in, come on up. Wrap the hook, go on in, come on up. Seven loops. Go through all and chain one. Let's do it again. Wrap the hook. Up. Wrap the hook, go through. Up. Wrap the hook. Go through. Up. Wrap the hook. Go through all. Chain one. Nice, easy puff round. Okay. And your colors, what's neat about this pattern, you can have a blast. Rotate your colors around, see what you like the best. You can make a blanket out of this square and change them up as much as you want or do a few and then just do a cool a rotating pattern of them of the colors the choices are really kind of endless on that sorry that end was driving me nuts now it is important to know that you need 16 of these puff stitches so when you're getting close to being done, I do highly recommend that you take that moment and count them. Make sure you're not missing one or adding one because sometimes it can be really easy to do. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I'm right on track. Now some of these I'm able to hide a little bit of the tails, but unfortunately you cannot hide them all. And I tried to be the queen of hiding every tail so I don't have to weave. Make sure you're only going through the stitch, not the gaps. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Now, to end, don't slip stitch to the top. Go right in that gap, the next gap, and slip stitch. Trust me, it's what you want to do on this one. Chain one, cut your yarn, find your next color that you want to use, a slip knot, and pick a spot where you want to start. We're going to be working in the gaps, okay? We're going to be doing half double crochet clusters. So chain two. Wrap the hook. 
go in, wrap, go through, two. Wrap the hook, go through, come on up, wrap through, two, and do it again, and go through, two. You should have four loops on your hook, wrap, go through all of them, chain twice. Now that was the starting one. That one's always different. So let's go into the next one and I'll show you exactly what to do. Wrap the hook, go in, come on up, go through two. Wrap the hook, go in through, come on up, go through two. Wrap, go through, come on up, two, and one more time, and two. So you have five loops, wrap, go through all, and chain two. Okay. I'm losing my yarn. Okay. So this is what you're going to do in every gap. And chain two. Isn't that pretty neat? Wrap the hook, go on your next gap. Oh, oh, see, think I'm doing a pop. Grab the hook. When you have five, go through all. Go through all, chain two. Let me talk you through it one more time. Wrap, go through your gap, bring it up, go through two. Wrap, again, and then only go through two. And you keep doing this until you have five loops on your hook. And then you wrap, go through them all, and chain two. And chain two. Okay, I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, we're coming around, doing your last one. Chain your two, and then instead of going into this top loop, go into this first gap that you created. This is what helps keep it snug and uniform. Now, it's going to look wonky. That's really okay. It will work its way out. Now, last round. See how fast this goes? Okay. Pick a spot. Any gap to go in. Any chain two. Pick your yarn. chain four and put in two trebles a good way to remember this so the next gap you did trebles we're gonna go down the doubles put in three doubles And three. Next gap. 
and three half doubles. Then we're going to go back up. Next gap, three doubles. Now we're at a corner. Put in three trebles. One. Two. And three. And chain two. And three more doubles. That same spot because it's a corner. Now in the next one, we're trebled, so we're going to doubles, three doubles. And then three halves. Three doubles. And then you're back to the corner. The corner will be three trebles, chain two, three trebles. Then you do your doubles, halves, doubles, corner. And I'll see you at the end. And this is what you got. Beautiful. I weaved in ends. Anyway, so this is how you make the Starburst Granny Square. I would love to see your patterns and your color schemes and your projects that you make with this so do us a favor please hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom and come over to facebook for whip for work in progress and chain join our group and show us your work we do a drawing every month and the winners get free prizes of things that we have made till next time happy crocheting everybody bye